discussion is on tunnel diodes. A tunnel diode is a semiconductor device, a diode with a negative resistance region. It's the negative resistance region that allows for very fast switching speeds. Typical speeds can be in excess of 15 gigahertz. The operation of a tunnel diode is based in theory upon a quantum mechanics principle known as tunneling, wherein the intrinsic voltage barrier of 0.3 volts for germanium and 0.7 volts for silicon is surmounted with fabrication techniques that have been very heavily doped. In this demonstration, we're going to use a very fast switching tunnel diode, a 1 in 37, 13 tunnel diode, and compare it against the curves that are generated from a typical silicon diode. We'll be doing this on a curve tracer. And what we're particularly interested in looking at is the voltage versus current characteristics. For this demonstration, we're going to compare a standard diode that is not fast switching versus a tunnel diode that is extremely fast switching. On the left is the standard 1N4001 diode that can be purchased at American Micro Semiconductor. This diode will have conventional PN junction characteristics and were made with standard and conventional processing techniques. On the right side, we're gonna look at a 1N3713 tunnel diode. Here the junction is made in a non-conventional method. Here what we're going to be doing is taking a look at a diode that is extremely heavily doped with impurities. Lots of metallization is put on the junction. If you look at the curve tracer and at the characteristics, here's what you're going to see. If you look here on the left-hand side, I have a standard 1N4001. I'll flip the switch so we can look at the forward voltage characteristics, okay? Here you'll see conduction beginning to occur at about 5 tenths of a volt. Now, let's switch over to the tunnel diode. Now, on the right-hand side, we are looking at the 1N3713 tunnel diode. I'll flip the switch. And now when we start forward with the characteristics, what you'll start noticing is that you'll start noticing here, this region in this area is referred to as your negative resistance area. It is in here that we do not see a curve, but that tunneling does occur. This is in this range is where you're going to be getting your quantum principles uh, uh, realized, okay? In here, you'll notice that the curve almost goes vertical, okay? There's a huge barrier that has got to be gotten over at this point. But if you look through here, you'll notice that there is no curve, largely due to the fact that we're working with a tunnel diode that is moving faster than the equipment can recognize the electrons or the signals from the processing. One other note is that in looking at a tunnel diode, we're talking about extremely low current values. If you look up here, we're actually looking at 200 microamps as being the maximum current that this is allowed to operate in. Typically, we wanna be less than that, okay? One of the other key characteristics of a tunnel diode is that when you're looking for your tunnel diode characteristics, you wanna be looking at what might be referred to as your peak current. This is your peak current up here. Likewise, what we have is what we call is a valley current. So when you're specifying your tunnel diodes, you wanna specify the range in which you want the tunneling concept to exist. Now, we'll switch back to the one in 4007, and you'll see that the total characteristics, what you'll see that the forward voltage drop is between five and six tenths of a volt in your conventional diode, okay? Now, this is a conventional diode. This is a diode with quantum 
principles involved. When you're thinking about high frequency devices, consider American Micro Semiconductor as your solution. Also, you can buy these devices and shop at store.americanmicrosemiconductor.com for all your industrial, mechanical, military, and aerospace requirements. Thank you for watching our video and stay tuned for the next in a series.